Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Hey, Jordy, did you know that we're on other platforms too? Really, like uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and if you would like to talk to us, Discord and Reddit. Yeah, and if you're watching on YouTube, you should subscribe too. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. You're listening to Split View once again. 48 coming at you with another legit podcast. <laughs> is anyone? Well, yeah, I was going to say, is anyone going to get that? But I forget that he's not a small creator anymore. Yeah. He's not just this weirdo guy I used to watch that did like niche content. He's yeah. like a big fucking dude on the platform now. Yeah. Doesn't so. make that kind of content anymore, though. Yeah. Bit wow. sad. <clears throat> yeah. Bringing it out there. Sorry, Ian. Um, I know you can't because of the way <laughs> things are right now, but I, I mean, respect he it. He could, but he really shouldn't. Yeah, he definitely I mean, shouldn't. If, if PewDiePie can do something like that and be perfectly fine, then... True. What the fuck would... Like, why did he do that? Can we talk about that? PewDiePie? Yeah. What, the bridge? Hmm. Yeah. Um, why? So, for anyone who doesn't know, PewDiePie, being uh, the most popular YouTuber on the fucking planet... Uh, he, I think he was live streaming, was PUBG. it PUBG? Yeah. And uh, he did drop a bit of an N-bomb. Like, the worst thing he could Hard possibly R. say. Hard R, too. The word, no, like, it just, not even just the word, like, the way he used it was you like, stupid what the fucking fuck? Blank. Like, and, and I, after, like, seeing that clip. He said, what a fucking insert yeah, word. Yeah. And, and I... The funny thing is, is that, like, when he tried to quote-unquote apologize for it, he said, I just wanted to call him the worst word I could think of. That was that was his well, excuse. And no, then describe him as the worst thing he could. Was and that what call, it was? Yeah, because oh, he called worse. him what a fucking insert thing. Like, that's yeah. the worst thing you could be. Oh! See? Ah! Oh, like, it's just terrible. How is he still on the internet? Yeah. <laughs> After that? <laughs> I don't know, okay. man. I don't know. Okay, I wanna. I we. I don't know if I'll conclude this audio or not, but I did something really embarrassing earlier today. Okay, so really... if there is a cut right now, uh, no, it's no, it's fine. It's okay, it's staying in. All right, cool. Yeah. Um. I I I was like I just done my like vacuuming and shit, like vacuuming my carpet and all that, and uh, I ordered food like an hour or two ago before then, and it didn't arrive, and then it arrived, and I was like, I gotta eat this fast so I can finish my like chores and shit. I finished my food, and then I like sat down and was like burping really loudly, like <laughs> like making gross as fuck noises. I hear a noise. I look to the left, and the male person is at the fucking front door that's open, and I burped in that direction. And then I went out, and I was like, "Hi, how's it going?" She literally sat there for a full second, looking at me, like she knew what I did. She knew, and she was just questioning, "What the fuck is this guy?" Like, he just did a gross as fuck. Like, I literally made it sound like, and then burped. Like, like just like, you know. She literally paused and then you, for a second. You, you just split right into your, like, customer service voice. Literally, literally. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, like, I, it was like something out of a fucking movie. Like, uh, there's no doubt she knew it was me, and she thought I was fucking disgusting. That's a fucking Seth Rogen joke right there. Yeah, literally. Like, it's a fucking shitty comedy sketch thing that happened. Yeah. I just, like, I the thing is, because, she, like, I went to the door, and I said, hi, how are you going? She paused for a full second just looking at me. That's how I know. That's how I know that she thought I was disgusting. <laughs> that's fucking so, funny. Dude. Yeah, that's something that just happened that was great and I thought about for a decent amount of time. And now it's on the internet forever. Until you take it down. It's somewhat or recorded edited. as well. Yeah. Because my front door camera has a really nice microphone that literally hears what I'm doing <laughs> in the garage. Sorry. I, oh my, can I watch it? Yeah, we're going to watch it. Oh my God, thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> thank God. I only just realized that. That's fucking brilliant. Mm. All right, Tom. Tom, I'm just going to do something right now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to check my notes. All right. Do you, you you don't usually have notes when it's my week, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah there what, we go. Is that the 12? Or no, it's that? not out yet. Um, and the reason why I didn't get the 12, I should mention, actually, for people who aren't watching, uh, I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max Turbo Ultra Supersonic because I broke my other one. 
oh. and it has a bunch of dead pixels yeah. on it. And I need to ask you later how the hell I'm going to go about fixing that so I can sell it. The footage you sent me today was really nice from it, and I was kind of impressed by it. You sent me a raw, like, 144 meg file, and it was really beautiful. Yeah, I was I was going to send it through Discord, but it didn't let me, of course, because it was... Because 10 megabytes? Eight, <laughs> even it is now, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I have switched back to Apple, yeah. and um, I have gone full Apple this time. I am on uh, Apple Music. I'm on everything, getting the full Apple experience again. And uh, I just thought it would be a fun thing to surprise you with on here. Do you realize the Apple experience in also includes being frustrated by Apple, you know? What do you mean? Being frustrated by their, like, customer service or your phone breaks in a weird way or just some other, like, well, oh, I can't do this because this time, iOS. This is the first phone I ever got through a plan. And it actually makes me mad because the plans are really good. <laughs> like I've always okay. bought my phones outright so that I could just fuck them off in a year or whatever, yeah. if I wanted to get a new one and then sell that one. But this time I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll, I'll try it out. You know, I moved out again now. So I just want to save the money where I can. Yeah. And could other things to spend on like 1.5 K coffee. machines. Uh, 1. 2. Uh, well, oh, a big difference. Yeah, it yeah. is a big difference. Okay, dude. Okay. And that thing makes some brilliant ass coffee. And dad, yeah. if you're listening, you will have to come over and try it out which I know you are listening, so you will have to come over and try it out. Anyway, so while I was there, I was talking about through this plan, right? And I won't yeah. say how much it was, but it was a very decent price for this plus the plan that I'm on, which is more data than I'm ever going to use. And after a year, if you don't break it in any way, you can just get a different phone. Yeah. And yeah. I couldn't believe that. That's I, what I do. Yeah. Are you on this? Are you on that type of plan as well? I'm with Optus. I don't know if you're with Optus. No, I went but, with Telstra. Yeah. But, like uh, right now, I could upgrade to the the Note 20 12 or, or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, 20 or something. 12. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was really cool because mm. it's like, you know, you can effective. I can effectively keep doing it, but also just pay it off in much easier increments. You get the insurance as well. Yeah, and also um, she, the lady threw in this. Uh, this extra thing where if... Oh, I'm sure she threw it in just for you, Joy. Yeah, well, I mean, she did seem to throw it in just for me because <laughs> it's usually 20 bucks a month for what I just said, you know, where you can just yeah. upgrade it and whatever, but she did. She added it in for free for me. So. Get that for free from Optus. Huh? You get that? Well, there you go. So, I, mean, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that would be a fun thing yeah. to mention on the show. Um, and I will keep you updated on my... Because it's been a while since I've had one. And by a while, I mean like a year and a half. Yeah. And I have made a cool little uh, widgets desktop. Maybe I'll show you later. I was um I I have a bunch of projects, and I'm excited that iPhones have widgets now because there's always something I wanted to work on that I think would be a lucrative business wise and could only really work through widgets. Okay. So I'm glad that Apple is adding third party widget support. You'll have to tell me about that later, so you don't mm. give away your business venture here. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's get right into the news. Um, Jordy. Yes, if Tom. you found out that the water in your city had brain-eating fucking amoebas in it, would you drink it? Probably not, Tom. You probably would, because unless you're fucking snorting the water, then it doesn't matter. I feel like it has to matter in a little way. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a little bit of it has to Jordy, matter. would you A, snort the water immediately to end this fucking existence in this year, B go out to every single supermarket and buy an insane amount of bottled water or C, not really care and then either boil your water or just drink it like a normal person? Probably C, because I am incredibly lazy. You and just I don't said wanna... you wouldn't, Jordy. Yeah, but I am lazy. Okay. I'm waiting for you to turn around and say, now, well, that guess what? That is in our water. That's what's happening uh, in America, like, today. <laughs> so... yeah, just like they need another problem right yeah. now, man. It's a thing called... Uh... Neglaria fowlery. It's it's it exists in basically every water. Like you've definitely drank it before, mm. but um, it's usually like a very small percentage, like less than a percent, and it only affects you if you like literally put the water up your nose. Okay, it's, a, it's an amoeba that crawls up your like nasal nerve and then literally eats your brain. So that's pretty not yeah, cool. It's, in, it's happening in Texas. So that's I'm not cool. a massive fan of that. Ninety uh, percent fatality minimum. 90% minimum. Wow. Sorry. So I, hang on, you're saying this is happening in Texas. Texas. So there's a bunch of fucking weirdos snorting water in Texas to make this a problem? <laughs> More like someone snorted water somewhere and then suddenly everyone started freaking out because... So hang on, if the percent is 90... Yeah, but that's if you get infected. The actual rate of infection is like less than a percent. Okay. But if you get it, 90% I fatality. see, I get you, okay. 
I was going to say, because that doesn't add up if only one yeah. person died <laughs> from it, but yeah. Yeah, well, I think only one person did die from it, and that's kind of made everyone freak out, especially because COVID stuff, people literally are going to supermarkets and just getting infinite amounts of bottled water. Oh, well, if you if you invested in bottled water stocks, good for you, I guess. I, I, I genuinely wonder if Nestle has a hand in this. Like, oh, my God, they yeah. They have, like, bad PR at the moment, so to drive up sales, they, like faked like someone getting this amoeba to make people buy their water even more <laughs> maybe i mean yeah companies have done worse it's not out of the cards and that's the saddest part yeah um what is happening with the bethesda right now jordy uh bethesda that, that they were bought yeah by uh Dude, microsoft? Fucking microsoft like i can't believe they paid 7.5 billion dollars for skyrim because i just bought it for 30 bucks on steam <laughs> <laughs> good point that's not even my joke why are you laughing at that i know it's not your that joke, happens every funny. fucking like game uh studio buy it it's like dude yeah. i bought that for 20 dollars on steam the same thing happened when minecraft was bought out i remember yeah. seeing those memes dude gil uh gil bates <laughs> <laughs> bill gates paid 1 billion dollars for minecraft i got it for 12.99 because i'm a veteran in 20 and 2009 yeah. or 11 i thought you got it for free if you were that no you got it for cheaper remember oh, okay. notch was like hey you get it for 10 bucks or 10 euros instead of 20 euros that's a big difference yeah euros is worth a lot kind of is um yeah i am not feeling good about this i I'm am not... feeling good about this really because um the biggest problem with like star whatever the fuck starfield and like Elder Scrolls 6 is that uh, Bethesda were like, hey, we're just not going to like work on a new engine. We're just going to keep mm. reusing it because cheap. Whereas now, you know, money... You think they might force them to... Um, now they have a bit more assets, they might be able to... Yeah, well, yeah they have a parent company that doesn't suck dick. So, yeah. Well, allegedly. So, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see. I wonder if this does... Uh... The only thing I'm terrified of is if they start putting games as xbox exclusives um which they would be geordie. the fucking stupidest people on the planet to do uh geordie what fallout fallout and uh stuff is an xbox exclusive no it isn't yeah so is it really it doesn't come to ps5 only to pc and xbox is that true yes really no yeah no it's yeah, not it's true. <laughs> are you fucking serious yeah no ps5 no yeah why would yeah. they why why let me uh let me just quickly double check but that's i, I have i have heard, I heard that that is that they are going to release on a case-by-case -case basis well yeah but even then like they do you, would do you think be so gonna, dumb not to do that do you think microsoft is gonna buy them and not fuck with that I, but they would make more money if they didn't starfield coming to ps4 was always unlikely but now there's uncertainty whether it be on ps4 apparently they removed the ps5 logo from the website oh and like literally people are like everyone is saying yeah it's very unlikely that's not because good. um fallout 4 on ps4 was always kind of fucky because it literally took three hours to install and they just didn't give a shit yeah like They've never really been okay with Sony, mostly because of the PS3. They got fucked over with the architecture because Gamebryo slash Creation Engine just didn't work on Sony. Yeah. On our PlayStation 3. Just doesn't work in general, am I right? Yeah, but um, fucking Starfield images got leaked recently, though. Yeah? Does it look good? Um, I have no idea. I don't know how to feel about this, but okay. I want you to... I'm, I'm I feel like Starfield is something that you'd be quite excited yeah for. i would be i would be you would be okay interesting <laughs> i'm going to show you an image and i want you to guess whether it's real or fake because there are multiple ones and i'm just going to pick one at random because there's only one that's real okay so let me just show you an image once i fucking so someone's find it. clearly gone to a lot of trouble to fake some of these then is this one real or fake that looks fake that's real what yeah show me one of the fake ones um let me go to it uh, right here obviously that's fake because okay, it's yeah, just that's Skyrim fake, fucking yeah. armor and moon and sun um, there's a lot more of them they kind of it's the thing that happens like uh, once the real images start coming out the fake ones seem to disappear mm. but do you know how I know that's like real or how people know that's real no because uh, fucking Show the camera yeah, well if you want you know, I guess just type in uh, Starfield leak and it's literally the first one with yeah. the, the dude and the HUD icons and the jetpack 
you know, jetpack. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know how that's? Uh, we know that's real. It's because you can see their butt. <laughs> Think about third person in Skyrim and Fallout. It's always weirdly fucking frames with like the butt at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it. This looks like like a that's uh, very a Bethesda true. Game. It could very yeah. This just looks weird though. Like I don't know what to feel about this because it's it looks incredibly empty. Yeah, but like I don't trust Bethesda to make a space game that's yeah. not RPG. Well, well they I, made Prey, didn't they? No, that was Arcane. Ah. Uh, like, Bethesda owns Arcane, but, you know. Yeah, no, they didn't make it. Uh, yeah, look, I, I don't even really trust them that much with Fallout and yeah. Skyrim any, uh, and Elder Scrolls they anymore. They fucked up the uh, season pass for Fallout 4, so... Yeah, you know. I mean, it's... it's. Look, I think people have been burned too many times from new games from Bethesda, and now that they've... I, I This is a horrible move. It's a horrible move. It's a weird move. It's, it's a really, really strange. bad move. Cause because why? What would prompt them to do that? What do you think? Why do you think they were like, yeah, let, let's let's let well, Microsoft it's a buy us? Bit obvious. Like it's one that was a shitload of money, and they they're probably at, yeah, but at like, the moment hemorrhaging money because they haven't released a game in ages. If they showed a fucking screenshot of the Elder Scrolls Six, they would. You yeah, know, like but th- that's not coming out until I think I saw at least twenty twenty five. Like they, it, I don't yeah, even think they've started it. You you remember seeing that little ten second clip, right? They've scrapped it two or three times. Yeah, that's, like that's known at this point. Yeah, and it's just I I am I, I'm not even excited for it because I know I know it's dumb to be excited for yeah, it. Yeah, but like even before I knew that, I probably won't be able to play it now because I it's was going to be bad. Like, well, not it's not going to be bad. It's just not going to be Skyrim. It's weird because Bethesda makes games that like are both good and bad at the same time. Yeah, and they're still loved. Yeah. Like uh, Fallout 4. You can say it's fun. Like, I I fucking love Fallout 4, mostly because it's literally, like, addictive. Like, it's like yeah. they used fucking skin and box gambling tactics it's, to make it's you want to play it. Out of all the Fallout games, the one I've played the most. Yeah, but it's, like, not Fallout. It's just some weird, like, looter-shooter thing with crafting and settlement tactics. With a hit boy Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, like, I think... If they release the Elder Scrolls Six anytime soon, it'll be it'll be one of the biggest releases ever. I I would I would say, other than Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, it will be one of the I most hyped make... games and most bought games ever. I'm I'm willing I'm to I'm comfortable saying I'm that. willing to bet it will make ten times as much as Cyberpunk. You ten? You reckon because 10? it's already an established series and Cyberpunk. Like, there's fans of it, but there's also a lot of speculation and a lot yeah, of, like, you know criticism. literally nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, there's people who have been... I mean, how long is... It? Skyrim came out in 2011. So if it yeah. comes out in 2025 or 24, Think I can't remember. how fucking big the launch of Skyrim was. Literally the entire internet was just making memes yeah. talking about Skyrim. Like, that and was they everything. they re-released that game, what, 12 times or something oh, now? In so 12 many. different ways? And they're going to do the same thing with this one. And yeah. I, to me, I don't know why you wouldn't be working on this now for the next generation of consoles. And even if Bethesda was bought out by Microsoft, they should have at least still been making it for just the Xbox well, if they wanted. You well, know, they like, have they have multiple like projects in development. Like Fallout seventy six was being worked on for ages, like the Nuka World DLC and all that very shit. Hard. Fallout 76, not very hard. I have a theory about Fallout 76, and I've had theories a before. A cash grab? Not even just that. I think they literally just took Fallout 4 and then slapped multiplayer into it just to make a quick buck. I'm certain that's what they did. Because I Arcane was working on it. Arcane worked on Fallout 76, mm. and I think they would just grabbed whatever they had for Starfield and... Uh, the Elder Scrolls Six lighting wise, slap that into the engine and then just put multiplayer on it and we yeah. just put the cosmetic store in there. And that's why it's fucking bad. Yeah, it's and pretty... And unplayable. But that's what worries worries me about them using the engine because I've told Jordy about this and, like, a bunch of... Like, I've talked about it on the podcast as well, but, like, the f- creation engine from a technical standpoint is absolutely terrible and, like, literally was outdated 10 years ago. Mm. Like... Um, me, me and Jordy both know if you want to fucking play Fallout Four like comfortably, yeah, it's almost impossible. There are no graphical settings to play this game. Or even like, then, they're just they're like a developer. You have to like access yeah. them using some obscure as fuck text file shit, 
And if you disable V-Sync, you literally have like infinite speed physics. You run at the speed yeah. of light. The animation's like a 10 times the sound messes up. I was playing on my 144 hertz monitor somewhat recently now, like maybe a couple of weeks ago. And it's like just none of the sound is even synced because they locked the fucking dialogue and actions yeah. to the frame rate or to the they didn't even do that they locked it to like of a the... fixed update cycle independent of the ord of the uh renderer which makes no fucking sense yeah. like you don't do that and it just like it made me i was excited to play it again but i uh, just i lost interest as soon as main plot points were like he was doing weird hand gestures and his mouth was moving at different yeah. times and i was like you know what this doesn't have the same effect and all the pip boy animations are like infinite speed like when yeah. you're choosing your skills it's like the, the little dude in the corner is like and i can definitely vouch <laughs> for the turbo running yeah that's a you look down and you run the speed of light yeah exactly yeah <laughs> okay so look i'm not looking forward to this i'm not at all yeah. even less now that you've told me that it's not coming to ps5 because as i mentioned i think maybe last week or the well, week before it's not i am planning on uh sh making a permanent shift to the uh, ps5 as my gaming experience yeah, but you so. have a you have a you have a computer still though. i do yeah. but i would prefer to play it i think I, wa I, I want the ps5 people to have this experience without having to buy a gaming pc or an xbox though like i feel bad for the people who will who will only have a ps5 they should have at least mentioned this before people put shitloads of pre-orders in people would have definitely changed That's their mind why they've done it now when no. the pre-orders for xbox are going live but they've already gone they did it afterwards yeah but I mean, this is, the, this is the launch, though. Like, people, it, uh, this yeah. is the perfect time to sway people. But I heard about this after I had pre ordered a PS5 or put a, like a deposit down on it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's would just Would I business. have changed my mind to an Xbox? Probably not. Yeah. But other people would have. Like, that can still happen. Like, the well, Xbox pre orders are sold out. But so I'm there's... saying, like, there's people who would have, who have pre ordered PS5s and who yeah. know this, who would have got an Xbox if they had done it a week earlier. Business deals take a while, though. Like, this thing mm. has been in the works for, like, a year, apparently. The last I heard is that they were working on... They're going to work on what they've already been worked on, and Microsoft isn't going to fuck with that at all. Yeah. And then, like, they they were working on a few PS4 exclusives or something, and those are staying PS4 exclusives, and then after that, they're doing it case by case. And I just assumed that they would be smart enough to let both consoles... You, you would sell an extra... How many million copies... How many million copies if they just let you yeah, play on PS5? Like an insane amount. Or Literally, like, like, what, 10 million? Is that wrong? Uh, Is that a lot? That's like, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. But, like, it's just a moronic move, if you ask me. Mm. It's a moronic... Anyway, I'm not yeah, a fucking uh, businessman, so I wouldn't know, but it seems dumb to me. Jordy, what's the most illegal thing you can do in 24 hours without being caught? Or the most things. illegal thing well things or like what are the like what are some illegal things you can do like it's a point system you know you got to get a high level you got to do the oh, most yeah. crime without getting caught in 24 hours what do you do uh, you're legal man you know these crimes you know uh, the, the worst crime you can commit is murder so if you want without getting caught there and it, it doesn't count if you get caught a week later like you if you leave evidence for a crime that's you're caught essentially so i have to get away with it like like crimes that people aren't gonna notice, but are like I guess crimes. you you would just go around and commit small burglaries <laughs> at as many houses as possible, <laughs> okay. so like stuff that people wouldn't notice. That's not very efficient, though. No, it's not. I would torrent twenty billion movies because they're, they're probably not gonna catch me for that. But that's a lot of fucking crime. That's that's a good point. I would torrent a single Kanye West song because I, <laughs> and, yeah. then the FBI will be down here. You so know, that's fucking, a bad move. You know, fucking Kanye West pirates. Uh, like, uh, what the fuck is that? Evil Able Studio, wasn't it? No, it was uh, Ableton. It was Symphon. Oh, uh, it was it was like a, a synthesizer. Yeah, I remember fucking... seeing that. That was hilarious. Yeah, and Dead Mouse was like, "Hey, bro, you want a coffee?" Yeah. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck's up with that guy that's so funny there are so many stories of him being like an absolute fucking degenerate in real life like he, he's a degenerate in public he's too. a crazy person as well he's absolutely fucking insane there's a story oh no there's a fucking video of him in like economy sitting on an airplane like headphones on in ableton going <laughs> and then looking over to see if the other guy is like wow you're what the hell West. was he doing in economy because he wants people to see him working on it and take photos wow, of him. Wow, that's, that's literally the fucking reason. Dumb, but yeah. I, I believe that. I believe that a hundred percent. Yeah, that's so dumb. <laughs> 
fuck? Man, like I don't understand man. that. You know what I did see on Reddit recently? I'm sure you probably saw it as well. Is that like the the airplane sets? Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, like that. There's people who have made a set for like a private jet, and people like Instagram thoughts and stuff are going in there. That's been a thing for a while. They oh, film, I'm sure like, it has. It just, I never thought about the fact that that would be a thing until I saw that Reddit yeah. post. Like, you can just go and, like, hire this room, take a bunch of pictures, maybe in different clothes or something, you know, for one shoot, and then you upload them again a bit later from a different angle so people don't yeah. know. How the fuck do you see a picture that's supposed to be on a plane with a fucking, like, lazy boy chair and then be like, yeah, that's on a plane, a fucking lazy boy. Yeah. Just on carpet in an airplane. Yeah. I mean, there's planes with carpets and stuff yeah like, but this was all like these fancy this ass was planes, not a plane carpet no and, and it, i mean it's funny now because all these people who have paid for this are just outed now which is kind of good i yeah. like that because you i don't understand this uh this need to to flex anymore okay. on stuff you yeah, know but money because everyone knows that everything is fake but people don't though they were like uh, fucking like high school like mostly high school girls that are like oh my god I need my skin to be perfectly like you know no texture mm. I need like to have these lips and shit I'll buy oh. and then they see like advertisements for like drink skinny tea because that's how I got fit and they buy that mm. that's the cycle like it's yeah. basically only perpetuated by like a bit of fucking, preying on people it's yeah nice. like teenage girls that's literally what, what is advertising for am I right yeah exactly other than preying on people literally. at their low, lowest points yes yeah. Fucking Nestle, you know? Buy Monster. <laughs> Monster don't pray on anything. Not, not sponsored. Except my fucking willingness to do work if I don't have energy. Yeah. Um, Jordy. Hmm. So, you've murdered someone, right? I actually haven't, but... Okay, well, in this scenario, you've murdered someone with, oh, with okay. a hammer. With a hammer. Grizzly. Like a claw hammer. like uh -huh. a, you know, like Which end? This big. Oh, the flat part, of course, because oh. that's you cave in the skull. Yeah, 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 okay. Like yeah. a little flat claw... Oh, fuck flat claw hammer right yeah where do you hide this hammer so you don't get caught in your house or car uh, where do you hide it why Does so that, you don't get caught I, 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 Jordy if they don't have the hammer even if you're covered in blood you just go free that you know? is untrue <laughs> I know <laughs> in but, every single way oh, fuck, oh I didn't. Tom <laughs> I, I usually have it on fucking mute God usually with 48 weeks into this Tom yeah. you should know better by now okay yeah okay where do you hide what a hammer I, do? I would hide it has to be in your car or house maybe in like the spare tire part they search oh. that shit yeah immediately. that's immediate yeah. I don't know man I don't... Maybe I, maybe you could, like, tape it to the underside of your fucking wheel arches or they, something. They, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I want you to genuinely I didn't kill anyone. Think, I haven't thought this through. No, I want you to genuinely think of a good hiding spot in your house. Or car. <sighs> My car is a bad idea because they that's immediately... a very small area them. to search as well. Like, it's... My car isn't that big, so they get, get ground pretty yeah. quickly. Um... You know what you could do? What? You chuck it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I think they would search that because no, you're trying no. to clean. Yeah, but, but if someone you... someone's murdered probably with a knife. They assume because why wouldn't you use a knife? They'll search well, the dishwasher. Well, if you see a flat ass skull, you would assume it was a fucking hammer. Yeah, but without like this is this is they found a body and they're looking for a, sorry for a murder weapon, and they're gonna search the dishwasher. You no, know, I'm saying you would use the dishwasher to clean it and then just put it back in the shed. Yeah, but which wouldn't get rid of all the DNA, probably. But. Having the hammer, and not even just the DNA, like the hammer is going to imprint unique detail that can only be found on the hammer. My new place does not have any good hiding spots, man. I'm sure it does. It really does. I can doesn't. think of a really good place in your house right now. In my house, yeah. Tape what, in, it, in the ceiling or something? No, no, tape it to the top of uh, one of the the fucking the wings on the ceiling fan on the top of your ceiling. Oh. Okay. Who You've thought this through. Yeah, fucking of course I have. <laughs> Who the fuck Should is going to do that? Do you have a hammer in here? Should I be worried? I was going to have a hammer in here. Oh, I was that's... literally going to pull a hammer out, but I forgot. <laughs> so okay. I nice. would try to think of another place. Because this, this is a good question. Okay. Like, it's a, like have you ever had to think about doing no, this before? No, I fucking haven't yeah. had to think about this, Tom. It's an interesting question. Why have you had to think about this? Because I had to pad out the length of this podcast. Jordan. I see, I see. <laughs> um, fuck. I don't know, man. This You're putting me on the spot here. I could, I could put it in between some of my couch cushions. They would search there immediately. <sighs> That's such an obvious place. Yeah, I know. 
I guess I really haven't put enough thought into this. Yeah. Like, they're doing a sweep of your house, and they're searching every obvious place that I everyone's would, tried to hide okay, stuff. Okay, surely, the, like, I mean, they would probably check the roof. But if oh, I, yeah, like, they would taped go into it the to one of the rafters on top, on, like, an angle, maybe, on yeah, around a corner. That could work, but they're presumably going in with flashlights and metal slightly reflective. That's so. true, yeah, you wouldn't go in blind. Yeah. Oh, maybe behind some of the soundproofing in there? Because they probably wouldn't rip all that yeah, up. Yeah, like insulation? Yeah. Soundproofing. Sound, yeah, <laughs> insulation, yeah. Yeah, probably. That's my spot. That's I'm locking it good, in, Eddie. That's a pretty good spot, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you know what I would do? Tell me. I would take um, my Xbox One S, disassemble it, put the hammer inside, and, re- and reassemble it. Okay. That's a good That's a good one. Yeah. Until you want to play it, of course. No. Nah, yeah, I mean, there's space in there. Yeah. I would take one of my network switches, which is a big thing, and then just tape the hammer inside of it and close it back up just playing some games officer yeah literally you know, well you don't, don't mind have me. to do it who like are you seriously gonna like search a console like you oh he, obviously it's inside of a game console I mean if they picked it up and it goes doo, 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 that's I, why you tape it well, I guess yeah. yeah I would literally just disassemble some sort of electronics like sewing machine or like a big thick monitor and just put it inside there that's a good idea yeah um, I'm worried about how much you've thought about this <laughs> extensively okay. Um, okay. for my own safety let's let's make it a bit easier I guess oh, what about okay. a flash drive like you have a flash drive with stuff on it you gotta hide the flash drive where do you put it uh, put it inside something smaller is that what you were gonna say no you have would, a good one for this I would go I would go for the the, the ceiling fan thing again tape it to the, the inside yeah, rotor you definitely of the ceiling wouldn't fan see, I wouldn't notice that in here yeah at I would all. just like glue it or something see of course now if you do kill someone I will have to refer them to this episode oh yeah I was thinking the about authorities that. yeah um, you can open which up which would be me probably <laughs> what if this is a decoy episode I'm like I'm actually giving you decoy oh, places oh maybe and maybe. the real place I've even better ones reveal. on deck huh yeah literally like this is like you know I'm planning on committing a murder right now and this is my alibi place to dissuade the policeman you know they're gonna search all these places I'm talking about but I actually have a super secret place that nobody knows about I would 100% Soviet. believe that and then you're gonna refer them to this episode Therefore, sending them on the wrong track yeah literally see? yeah see. but you see if I make detective then I would be the one investigating it so I would know I don't think you're allowed to do that can you because you have in like fact, a... I, I'm sure they would let me do that <laughs> well, <laughs> okay well actually no maybe not if I have a personal yeah. connection to you yeah but, literally yeah. let's let the guy who's like who has, has a, a fucking personal vendetta at yeah. this point against them or like you know is sympathetic to the fucking I'm like, sure defendant. they would talk to me though they would have to talk to me oh yeah all right, um, where the fuck would I hide a flash drive? Um, probably, I was going to say inside my computer somewhere, but they would definitely check my computer. Oh, yeah, definitely. So they would take the hard drive out or something, because like, if you could just disguise it with a bunch of tech shit. You know what mm. I would do? Right. I have a random drawer full of cords, and you know everyone who's into tech has a random shit yeah. bucket? I would put it in there. Because you're going to look at all those cables and go like, oh, a bunch of HDMI's I can imagine them searching that, But though. you put, like, eight extra USBs in there, so they just see it all, and then they're just like, oh, okay, this is just a random shit drawer. Maybe, like, weather them a little bit, chuck them in there. It's like, oh, yeah. it's been sitting here for ages. I was thinking Lock as well, in. you could get a jar of, like, face cream, like, thick face cream, put it inside, and then cover up the top. I've Have you seen that video of, peop- of like, this guy who was in prison, he was showing you how to smuggle shit in a peanut butter jar? And what, I, can, I can imagine how that what, works. What you have to do is, like, you empty it, like, halfway. So if any potential inmates are listening to this, you can use this. Um, you put it in directly in the center if you can. And then you just keep spinning it around like this on the on the floor. Oh, yeah. Or, or like that, like you, like you would a have spin top type force. thing. Yeah, and then when you open it, it looks like it has like even has a little, like, swirl on the top, like a fresh jar. Nice. And so there you go. You can use that. You just have to do that for, like... <laughs> 20 minutes straight like vigorous yeah spinning like a fucking Beyblade what is uh, what is something you want to see with your own eyes before you pass away what's some sort of like event this is or kind something? of a cringy answer but I would like to see the Aurora Borealis you can just see that easily now not the no I can't can I you can go somewhere. I can somewhere. look at a fucking Planet Earth video of it, no, but you I can't... can you can fly somewhere. Oh, probably okay. cheaply, cheaply to yes, see that. I, that you could say that, that for great. anything and I was going to say. My answer is somewhat look. You know, it's something like that. Tell I me, I want to see one. like Chekhov radiation from like a, a fucking fission reactor because that's cool as shit. Take a Based... trip to Chernobyl. 
No. <laughs> it's pretty fun there. I would actually I would like to go there. I would love to go there. Basically when when reactors in pools of water are on, the uh, neutrons fly so fast in water that they go faster than the speed of light in water and that converts into like a scary blue glow. Oh, you showed me a picture of this. Yeah, so if yeah, you look down into cool. a fission reactor, there's like a frightening blue glow, and I yeah, want to see that with that my That would eyes. be cool. That would be cool. Because that's the kind of thing that a camera can't capture, like the actual true color intensity of it. And look I would at like us to see both that. just wanting to look at pretty lights. Yeah, well, yeah. That was both of our answers. Hey, speaking of pretty lights, we're making something with pretty lights, <laughs> yeah. aren't we? And I say we, I mean Tom. Um, on my YouTube channel, I am done nothing at the moment tom and i are making a dopamine machine yeah uh, which was something that i saw that's a cool band name yeah dopamine yeah, is, yeah that's a fucking <laughs> great name actually and i saw this video was recommended to me on youtube um of like a little d- box that some guy made and you flick switches for things you want to do on a day like say you want to make sure you do your chores do drink enough water whatever and then the lights are red and then when you flick a switch, a tactile response that goes green. So in your brain, you want to do all these things that you usually wouldn't do. Yeah. So you would do something that, if you like doing chores, you wouldn't put chores on there. You would put, maybe you want to read a bit a day. So you would put a book on there or a picture of a book or the word, whatever. And uh, I saw the video of that guy and he his code was disgusting. And his like, and from what we, and that's only been told by Tom, who told me that his code was disgusting, but I'm just saying, like, he didn't do it the best job. And I thought, you know who can do better? Tom, my best friend, Tom. And so I've been filming him make it with (laughs) my input of what I I wanted. And uh, so I'm going to make a video on my channel and edit it together. And I'll, once I've made it and edited it and whatever, I will let you guys know on the podcast so you can go and watch it if you'd like. Um, but yeah, that's a little project that we've been working on. I knew you would talk about this. So speaking of building things, yeah, if you had unlimited budget and resources to make something, what would you make? What would you have commissioned or what would you make yourself if you had people, time, budget, resources? I would make a passion project movie. Full length movie. Could you imagine a movie from this brain? How wacky that would be? Yeah. And I would make sure it comes with subtitles burnt in, because that way, when that's a bad idea. When when when, <laughs> just release subtitles as an SRT. When like a we review person. it here on on Flickview, in twenty years when this doesn't happen, you know, if we review it on here, it will have subtitles that we don't have to spend eight years destroying our brain to find to line up. You correctly. can just make a movie, Jordan. You can do that. Yeah, I, you say that, but I can't make a movie right now. Make small movies. I don't movies. have the resources, the information, or the know-how to make a movie. That would be good. Make it in Blender and spend 10 years on it. I, has someone done that? A bunch of people. That's like a lot a of A full-length movie. Fuck yeah, you can make full... You can make movies like it's 3D software. You can make anything. Yeah, that's true. People make See, movies. I don't have the patience for that. That's why you take 10 years. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, well, what, 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 yeah, tell me what you were... I would uh, make a theme park where every ride is big fucking menacing robotic arms that fling you the fuck around. <laughs> and, like, there are, there are, like, catapults that, like, throw you across the park. Just a big-ass park with, like, frightening robotic arms that, in, in place of, like, rides that do shit. That, I'm imagining what that would look like, and that would be pretty cool. Like, you know that teacup ride? Like, yeah, instead yeah. of that, it's just a bunch of little arms with seats that, like, <laughs> fucking, like, juggles you and does, like, tricks and shit. <laughs> like, fucking knife tricks with you. <laughs> and, like, every ride is that. And, like, the food vendor is also, like, robotic arms just that just, like, something chuck up. food at you and shit. Yeah. Not like those weak-ass Japanese ones. Just, like, oh. everything is frightening, yet does not harm you in any way. <laughs> that is my dream Until for the one something. story comes where one of them's decapitated a little girl now, or see, something. That wouldn't happen. That's um, specifically, like, the allure of this park is that it looks incredibly dangerous and frightening, but nothing ever but happens. it's completely safe. Yeah, exactly. That's what Dreamworld said. No, they didn't. And they had fatalities. Everyone knew they were unsafe. That nobody, is true. Nobody I was just said trying to make a joke, was and it wasn't very funny or in good taste. <laughs> no, but, really, no. But, uh, but I did make it. It was not the vanilla taste of jerk you were hoping it would be. No, it was more of a uh, cookies and cream. I don't know. Speaking of food, Geordie, yeah. Why do when you make frozen food specifically, you take the pizza out of the thing, you throw away the box, and then immediately don't read it, and then fucking forget how to cook it? 
Why do you do that? Because you are primal at that point. You I'm know- talking about you, Jordy. You do this. What? You take frozen fruit out of a box, chuck away the packaging, and then get to the oven and then realize you don't know what time to put it in and what temperature. When have you seen me do this? I just know you do this. I mean, I do do this. Because everyone pre- does this. I was going to say, everyone does it. And I, I can... know why, and I'm, I will tell you why right now, because I am wise. <laughs> you get really concerned. You're like, when have you seen me do this? Well, I know we, I thought we had, that we didn't have frozen pizza. Remember when we had that debacle about when our Uber Eats yeah. didn't show up? And I was like, I don't remember us actually getting, having a frozen pizza that night. That's the only time he would have seen that. Just calling you out. Like, Jordy, why did you do this? Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, I know why people do this. And I'll tell you why. Okay. If you have a frozen pizza, that's exciting. I like, I like knowing I have a frozen pizza in the fridge. Okay. And I look forward to consuming Jordy, that. Jordy, I like... So when it comes to that point, yeah. you're not thinking about that. You want to eat that pizza. I'm... So you rip that bitch off, you take that plastic off, and you throw it in the fucking oven. And then you go, oh shit, I'm so primal right now, I didn't think to check how long I have to put this in here for. I disagree with you. I think people aren't excited for frozen pizzas. People are excited for cooked pizzas, and the frozen pizza is simply an intermediate oh, well, state Okay, that's what pizza. I meant. So your, your argument about the pizza being frozen, which excites you, making you throw out the box is bullshit. <laughs> You know what I meant. No, I don't. I meant exactly what you just <laughs> no, said. I, no, you didn't say that. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm sure everyone else understood what I meant. Fucking recycling my arguments, are you? Yes, and I. that is exactly why that happens. Jordy. Yes. How, are you... <laughs> this is a good Jordy, one. Jordy, how many, how many players does CSGO have on Steam? Do you want to try to guess? I, a million? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much is that a, current? Pretty much a million peak per day. Current is like 400,000, 500,000 concurrent. Jeez. When did that game come out? Um, Like 2012 or something, 2013. Jeez. That's insane to it still was, have that high. It was, uh, it was shit when it came out because obviously it didn't have skins and it was completely mm. different. But um, fucking Among Us has 280 current. Uh, 280,000. Okay, I was going to say, that doesn't... Fall Guys only has 30k concurrent. Wow. Isn't that crazy how Fall Guys has just dropped now and then it literally Among fell us. off. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then Among Us has like taken the crown now. I cannot believe how short that game lasted Fall yeah. Guys. Like it was existed for I'm um, a literal week. I mean, what the fuck else do you like do in it? Like with with Among Us there's like, you know, it's very much based on your friend group mm. like play styles you can you know, it's an information game. Whereas Fall Guys is literally just like, oh, run to the end and then kind of beat people. Have, having played none, I, I mean, neither of them. I it's, played both. It's not a... Uh, I, I'm not certain why, but having looked at Fall Guys, I could see that it would lose public interest very quickly. Because it's just a dumbed-down PUBG. Yeah, and there's not much that you can do with that. Yeah. And it was kind of like a PUBG slash Mario Party game type mashup thing from what I had seen you know it's like little mini games that you yeah. do with a bunch of people and that does get old you no get one no one plays games. Mario Party for hours and hours and hours every day you play it when you want to have a little bit of fun when your friends are over yeah they play which it is why Among Us is better yeah literally they play it for the same reason that Among Us is popular like the infighting between like your friends and you yeah, and all that because and it's like... only your friends with that if you choose to do it that yeah. way yeah which I'm sure many people do who play that game. I wouldn't know. I've never played it. But... Among Us came out like two years ago and it was like an indie game. Can you imagine how much fucking money like the yeah. developers have made now? They must be fucking rolling in it. Like it's $7.50, but like a million copies though. Yeah. So. I mean, hey, you know? good on them, man. If you make a good game, like sometimes all you need to do is just wait for the right time. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's one of these games where I can I un- completely understand the fun that I've seen because I hadn't seen anything of it until like a few days yeah. ago but like I can see it I we can need see it. we need to play it we need to get everyone together and yeah, play yeah it. yeah we, we have enough people I think I think we have about well five yeah everyone everyone in your house even like Ali on her laptop and yep. then me at my house but you, if, if everyone's at your house you need to like isolate each other see well I mean I'm, I'm pretty isolated in my little office room I mean, and not, all though. the others all the others are <laughs> you're, you're in like the living area of your house pretty much yeah well Ali would be in our room and then the other yeah. two would be in their room okay alrighty uh, that's basically everything I had today and that's pretty decent length yeah is. okay that's actually longer than I um, thought it was at so uh, thank you everyone for listening and just before we go um, Please do tune in for our 50th episode coming up soon. It is going to be a doozy of a... 
of an episode, we do have a special guest, and uh, that is all that I will say. So there will be three people in this room as opposed to two. Look forward to that. We'll see you soon, and hope you enjoyed Flickview. Bye-bye now. Thanks.